Hi everyone, I'm John Stedman, Technical Director of AquaPurge. And today I'm going to be sharing the five basic steps for using Barrel Blitz Universal in your injection molding machine. Now some of you may not have experienced Barrel Blitz Universal, so we just wanted to let you know what our expectations are of the results. Barrel Blitz Universal is the next best thing to manually stripping your equipment. I know, pretty high standards, but that's what we expect from our products. So how much material will you need? Well, on a clean machine that you use Barrel Blitz Universal all the time, or you've just manually cleaned the screw, you'll need one kilo per 100 ton of machine, or two pounds per 100 ton of machine. So that means like on a 500 ton machine, you'd need five kilos. On a 500 ton machine, you'd need 10 pounds. So for dirty machines, machines that the screw's never been pulled, running heat sensitive materials like flame retardants, PVC, running pigments that plate out regularly. Because we're cleaning not just the material, but also the carbon, this could be as high as five times the amount. But that's only for the first time. Once we've cleared all of the carbon, it goes back to one kilo per 100 ton, or two pounds per 100 ton. So, to the procedure. There's five steps. Two for purging with Barrel Blitz Universal. Three for clearing Barrel Blitz Universal. Step one. Firstly, we want to clean the body of the screw in the barrel. Now to achieve that, we add the Barrel Blitz Universal, screw back and inject, screw back and inject, until it comes out white. Or if you're running over 260 degrees Celsius, or 500 degrees Fahrenheit, an oatmeal color. Step two. Now we want to clean the end cap and the screw tip assembly. To achieve that, we put the back pressure to maximum so that it keeps the screw forward and continue rotating until it comes out white again, or oatmeal. Step three. Now we want to clear the Barrel Blitz Universal. Now, Barrel Blitz Universal will self-empty if we allow it. So to achieve that, we maintain the maximum back pressure, the screws forward, and then we stop feeding the Barrel Blitz Universal and let it run out of the machine. Once it's stopped coming out of the nozzle, continue rotating for another 10 seconds just to be sure, because this is a really important part of this whole process. Step four. Now we want to clean the feed section of the barrel. Barrel Blitz Universal in its raw form is a coarse powder. Now it doesn't get airborne, but through static it will adhere to metal surfaces. So to clear that, we employ a star feed procedure. Now quite simply, that's the hopper full of your next material, pushed over your hopper throat, feed, slid back, Purged out with maximum back pressure still, that's starve, until you can just see the clean screw. Don't have to empty it completely, just till you can see the clean screw. Feed the material, take the hopper back, purge out, starve, until you can just see the clean screw. Now you do that starve feed procedure five times, and then empty the machine completely. Step five. Now we want to clear the bulk of the material out of your screw and barrel. So you reduce your back pressure, screw back and inject, screw back and inject until there's no Barrel Blitz Universal in the last purge. And then that's it. So to summarize, there's five steps. Screw back and inject until white. Maximum back pressure till white. Empty it out completely. Continue rotating for 10 seconds. Five starve feeds. Screw back and inject. 
until clean. So, how long should this take? No longer than a couple of minutes to 10 minutes. And honestly, the 10 minutes is because you're struggling getting the hopper moving forwards and backs. This has been John Stedman, and please, capitalize on the results you're gonna be getting from Barrel Blitz Universal. And keep an eye out for new videos we're producing. They'll give you more in-depth information, and we'll cover other topics. But in the meantime, if you need any more support from us, please contact us, aquapurge.com.